It was a, a one-all draw against Dunstan today. Um, the players in there with their man t uh, mentality might feel a little bit down when dropping points, but a 33rd unbeaten league game to break the 50-year-old record of Boston United. Just saying that sentence, how does that make you feel? Yeah, buzzing. Uh, look, we're under no illusion. Uh, that first half wasn't a typical workshop performance, you know. Um, uh, and the gaffer told us that under... Uh, no illusions, uh, you know, it was, uh, look, we know we know what, what we need to do, um, it's going to be a dog fight and for us coming out in that second half and to come off the pitch, getting on a record and putting our name in the history books, it, yeah, it's a pinch me moment, you know, every player in there to a man dug in, in that second half down to 10 men, the pitch weren't great, we had to be more direct. Um, and I'm delighted that I managed to grab the goal um, to, to yeah, seal the, the draw, to take us over the line. With how the game was panning out, from the condition of the pitch to just the, the sort of flow of the match being disrupted by the way that Dunstan play or some questionable refereeing decisions maybe, was there any point during that thinking, oh, not on today of all days? Yeah, look, I think we've had a season where things have gone our way we've had a, a season where we're used to playing we're getting the ball down playing some beautiful football and today the conditions was a leveler um never going to come out and blame the ref we're never going to do anything to to blame anyone but we had to dig in in that second half and we had to <laughs> they're horrible men um we had to dig in in that second half and, and to a man, like I said there, uh, we knew what was at stake today. It's like I said before, the lads in there were not settling for just winning the league. Yes, we're champions. Yes, we've essentially done the job, what we set out to do, but there's more There's more in there. There's more in the tank that we want to go and break records personally and, and collectively. For me, I've, I want to go and get as many goals as I can not resting on my laurels and there's lads in there that quite rightly and deservedly have put their names in the history books. You mentioned it a little bit there but that goal took you on to 40 goals overall in all competitions this season. How does it feel to hit such a milestone after we you know, we were talking previously about best goal tallies of 15 but 40 goals just summarise uh, for it. For <laughs> I can't even put it into words. Um, just to even say the words 40 goals is just mad um, I'm really proud proud of what we've achieved as a group proud of the goals that I've scored but I'm look I wouldn't have got that many goals without the players around me I've got a, I'm so grateful for the the players that have put it on a plate week in week out consistently across the season and and look a massive mention to them and the belief shown to me by the chairman, the fans, the, the staff and my teammates. Um, I think all the credit really needs to go to, to all of them. And we've seen some of your teammates that you've mentioned just walking off and before the bus leaves without us, uh, let's just end on sort of the next game looking ahead. It's obviously a, a, when you have to put in a performance like that, you don't really want another game 48 hours later. You probably want the week to, to rest up, but we haven't got that um, luxury. luxury. Mm. So what will you be doing and the rest of the players over that little bit of a one day break ahead of Monday? Look, it, I think that first half performance, Monday's a perfect game for it. We're back on, on home soil, um, we're getting the trophy and look, we want to go out there and put, <coughs> put on a show for the fans who are going to come down to, to witness that. So look, the lads in there are professional, they'll look after themselves. They'll make sure we're ready to, to go Monday. Um, we've proved it all season, you know, no matter the personnel, no matter the, the players on that pitch, um, come Monday we'll be, we'll be right.